Welcome to the channel YouTube world. We're going to get into a game called Ancestors Legacy. This is on PS4 Pro. Uh, this game came out a few days ago and uh, I decided to pick it up. I'm having some fun. It's a real-time strategy game that reminds me a little bit of uh, Company of Heroes, if you're familiar with that game series. So this is just the main menu and options browsing because I'm always obsessed with uh, with what that looks like. See, we've got continue, and anyhow, let's get into it. Single player. So you can experience the single player content of the game or play a skirmish match with AI bots using multiplayer rules. So that's awesome. Then we've got multiplayer. Play online with others on a variety of maps, modes, and special settings. That requires an internet connection, whereas this one does not. So we have your typical thing that we want, offline versus bots. And we've got the manual, credits, what are the extras? That's just to play the cinematic of this chapter. Right, because I've done those two chapters, I think. I started playing the game a little bit yesterday. Now let's go into the options real quickly. You've got volume for uh, <clears throat> master. I turned down the music big time so that you can hear me talk properly effects ambient sounds voiceovers user interface <laughs> then we've just got audio settings contain settings you can mute application like in the game it allows you to mute the game completely i thought that was interesting that's something you see too often let's go to gameplay okay i'm just gonna try to go through this quickly because i don't want to make the game or the video too long just kind of, you know, take a look here. Gameplay alerts, on or off, floating text, game timer, the cursor size. <laughs> Controller legend. It controls whether the game shows the legend describing all possible controller actions available. It is shown in the bottom middle part of the screen. Minimap background. <laughs> Show unit path, little lines on the ground, default camera zoom, action camera shake strength, fog of war border. Allows you to turn on and off the color of the fog of war border. Arrow trails, movie subtitles, and game subtitles. So that's that. And we've got language. Oops. Sorry. So, Portuguese. Brazilian Portuguese. That one. Um, yeah, Brazil. That's Czech. Or, sorry. Yeah, now we're going to French. Sorry. It tells you in the preview. And then the next one is uh, Langue de Sous-Titre. That's French. Dude, Dutch. Italiano. Yeah, Polish. Russian. Espanol. So we're going to put it back on the language that most people who watch my channel are going to want, which is English. Je pourrais toujours le faire en français, mais il n'y a pas beaucoup de personnes qui vont aimer ça. And uh, let's go to English. Difficulty. Yes, I put it on easy. Get over it. Uh, we've got easy, normal, and hard. I have it on easy just for now. Just for now, just to make it simpler. And then the save system. Do we want auto saves on or off? I'm actually going to turn them off because they drive me crazy. Video settings. Display settings. So the gamma, cinematic movies, are usually displayed before the chapter starts or played or not at all. And then we've got... 
See, this is interesting. It's like 1080p at 30. Enhanced. 1080p at 30. High resolution. 4K at 30. Well, if they're all gonna be 30... <laughs> might as well put it on the enhanced. Maybe. Post-processing effect on... Chromatic aberration. Controls the visibility of an effect that stim simulates the color shifts in real-world camera lenses. Just gonna leave that. And then you've got your controls, your game settings. Um, when set the default, units will be selected by their order on the unit list. The alternative is based on their map position in the x-axis. Do you want squad quick select mode? The map scroll speed, which I find is really good by default. Same thing with this, the rapid map scroll speed. And then we've got the controller. There, that's your basic. If you want to pause that and read that for a minute, I'm not going to go through each thing. Go ahead and pause that if you want to look at that. <clears throat> Vibration, on or off. And then the controller action list. Oh, yeah. So this, I'm just going to go through it slowly. I'm not going to narrate each thing. This just kind of gives you an idea of the controls. Like that. I'm just kind of letting people catch up for those that care. Like that. I don't know all the controls by heart. <clears throat> There's no way I could remember all of that. Okay, and apart from that... That is it. So that took a few minutes, seven and a half minutes. And, uh... Like I said, these are kind of weird videos that I make because... Out of the billions of people in the world that play video games, uh, this matters to me to see what it looks like, the main menu. It's not always about the pew pew and the bang bang inside the game. So if one person like me is interested to see what this looks like for a video game, I'm sure there's got to be at least one or two others as well. And that's, to me, it's worth it. As usual, if you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down and I'll make sure... When you play the game, that's your fate right there. You don't want to be that guy down there with his uh, head stuck in between that guy's crotch and decapitated at the same time. It's just not a good thing. He's going to come after you. He'll haunt you in your night and your dreams, which will be a nightmare. Anyhow, you survive all that. You want to subscribe to the channel. Naturally, that would be fantastic now, wouldn't it? And if not, well, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls. And I shall see you all in the next video. Bye now.